Where will the Queen be buried? Will Queen and Prince Philip be buried together? The Queen is undergoing an eight-day period of mourning after announcing her husband, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, has died aged 99. But where will the Queen herself be buried, and will she and Prince Philip be buried together? The Queen announced her deep sorrow as she confirmed her husband, who was recently treated for a pre-existing heart condition, died just two months before he was due to turn 100. Prince Philip was the longest-serving consort in Britain's history, having dedicated decades of his life to royal duty and servitude. The Duke will lie in rest at the castle, but he will not have a state funeral in line with his final wishes. The Prince's body will lay in rest at Windsor Castle. Where will the Queen be buried? As it stands, it hasn't been confirmed where the Queen will be buried, although speculation on the subject is rife. Before her burial, the Queen's body will lie in state in Westminster Hall, which will be open for 23 hours a day until the funeral. Members of the public will be able to go and visit the monarch's coffin and pay their respects until the day of the funeral. When the coffin arrives there will be a short ceremony before people will, again, have an opportunity to pay their respects. The number of mourners expected to queue up and pay their condolences to the Queen is immeasurable. She is a much-loved and well-known figure in countries all around the world, so undoubtedly millions would flock to say goodbye. More than 200,000 members of the public paid their respects to the Queen Mother when she died in 2002. After Diana, Princess of Wales' death in 1997, tens of thousands of mourners laid bouquets outside the palace gates. The Queen's funeral itself would most likely take place 12 days after her death and will of course be broadcast on all TV channels and streamed online. The state funeral for the monarch will start with her coffin arriving at Westminster Abbey by gun carriage, led by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Leaders and heads of state from the Commonwealth and other countries will attend, and it's likely the public will line the route of the funeral cortege. Hopefully the Queen will outlive the coronavirus pandemic so she can have the send-off she truly deserves after decades of public service and staunch following of duty. Following the funeral, the Queen's body could be laid to rest and buried in a number of different places. Many people speculate she will opt to be buried either at her beloved Balmoral in Aberdeenshire, or Sandringham in Norfolk. Other reports suggest she will be buried in a special reserved plot next to her father. King George VI, at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. While most of Britain's monarchs are buried in Westminster Abbey, there have been diversions to tradition over the years. Will the Queen and Prince Philip be buried together? As it stands, nothing has been confirmed about the Queen's plans for when she passes away. Prince Philip will likely be buried in Frogmore Gardens, Windsor Castle, and it could be the case the Queen is buried next to her husband of 74 years. Queen Victoria and her beloved Prince Albert are buried together in a mausoleum in the Windsor Castle Gardens, so the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh may have opted for a similar arrangement. The couple have shared a very close relationship, with the Duke often being described as the Queen's rock, so it's not out of the question the pair would choose to rest together in eternity. <laughs>
Prince Philip will likely be buried in Frogmore Gardens, Windsor Castle, and it could be the case the Queen is buried next to her husband of 74 years. Queen Victoria and her beloved Prince Albert are buried together in a mausoleum in the Windsor Castle Gardens, so the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh may have opted for a similar arrangement. The couple have shared a very close relationship, with the Duke often being described as the Queen's Rock, so it's not out of the question the pair would choose to rest together in eternity.